A few years ago now, some of our civil engineers uh, were, were worried that because of the increasing storm events, some of the rock towers that were coming up to 200 years old may not be up to the task in the future. So in conjunction with uh, Plymouth University, we had an initial pilot project, if you like, which looked at the effects of, of wave loading on our rock towers. And from that connection through with Plymouth University, so is our connection with the Stormland project. As coastal engineers, we understand something about the wave transformation on more typical structures like seawalls and breakwaters. But on these cylindrical type structures, there's a, a, a real lack of information and knowledge. And so what we needed to understand was something about the, the wave transformation over the rocky reefs that surround the lighthouses and then the structural response of the structure itself to that wave loading and that hadn't been done before. After the results of the, the pilot project on the Eddystone Lighthouse, uh, we put together a much larger project um, called the, the Storm Lamp Project, covering everything from numerical modelling through to small scale physical testing to actually field investigations. So it's been great to bring all those together. Storm Lamps provided a, a fantastic opportunity to bring together engineers of different disciplines um, to try and um, solve some of the problems associated with the, the wave loading on rock lighthouses. We're hoping that and, and we can also lead the way in the international sphere with the International Association of Lighthouse Authorities adopting some of this um, modelling and monitoring that we're doing as part of Stormlamp. The project will help us to decide what we do with our uh, assets, our lighthouses in the future. So it will either tell us um, that they're fit for purpose and they're going to last, say, I don't know, another 200 years, or that actually we need to do something about them. Traditionally, people have always delved into records, but here we're applying modern engineering techniques and measuring equipment to studying the actual buildings that were put up, in some cases, over 150 years ago, uh, and learning things about those buildings that are also helping us to plan buildings in the future. It's great stuff.